How's it going? Last year, you guys might remember that Power Auto Media spoke with Autometer about an LCD race dash they were in development with. Well, it's in production. I'm joined by Jeff King, and this thing, in your words, was amazing, and it looks awesome. Well, thanks. We're really excited about uh, bringing this technology uh, to the racing and street uh, market. This is a fully configurable instrument panel dash. It's also a data logger that uh, capitalizes on our 30 years of experience through our stack uh, operation with uh, best-in-class data acquisition capability. All right, so we'll start on the surface with the display. It looks great. Well, thanks. You know, this is a thousand nit, the brightest display available. It's a pixel-perfect display, which means we can provide amazingly detailed graphics, and it's fully configurable, so it comes with a number of preset screens, but if you want to have a gauge that looks differently with a different range, with a different color combination, our LCD product allows you to customize this exactly for how you want it uh, to look. Yeah, well, let's talk about response when it's trying to pull that information from the sensors. Yeah, one of the really exciting things about the LCD product is that we're updating the screen and gathering data at a 500 hertz, so 500 times a second we're getting information. So it's the fastest, most uh, rapid responding instrument that you could put in your race car or street vehicle. For fast for a fast car. <laughs> well, that's the, we want to make, help people go faster by getting them information information as accurately and as fast as we can. All right, well, what about durability? Yeah, we've designed this product with the uh, with the rough nature of uh, the motorsport environment. So first of all, it's fully environmentally sealed, so it's sealed to water, dust, and dirt. Uh, it's resistant to vibration, uh, up to 50 G-forces of vibration this unit can uh, withstand without having uh, any impact. That's like a 200 mile an hour car uh, hitting a wall. We hope that never happens with uh, our product, but if it does, our product's still going uh, to, to survive. Okay, and then let's talk about some of the you know features that you have on there. Obviously, you have the lights that go across the top, and those are for warnings. Well, we have, so that's a progressive shift light as well as a warning indication system. Uh, so there are multiple ways that we're going to signal the driver that there's something going on with their car. That could be through LED indicators. We also have it uh, set up uh, where the screen itself will display messages. And because of our telemetry and other experience for racing sanctioning bodies, we'll be able to display a yellow light uh, warning item across uh, the screen for the drivers to know that something's going on at the track that they need to understand. Is there anything interesting that the, the guys at home are going to need to know before buying this uh, piece? Well, uh, you know, this is a, a product that can replace the dash panel that uh, you have uh, today. Uh, it's a technologically advanced item, so you can decide to either have it just as a display item or as a data acquisition uh, system, and we're happy to provide both of those uh, solutions. Uh, we'll be able to directly tie into the ECU that you have on your vehicle, or you can use traditional discrete senders, so we'll be able to support both late model and uh, older vehicles with this product. And what about, uh, is this a kit, or do they need to get sensors? Is it something they can just do a one-stop shop with you guys? Well, you're able to do a one-stop shop uh, with us. So what comes with the kit itself is the wire loom that will tie into the ECU. And then depending on what incremental senders you might need, you might need an oil pressure sender or some specialized senders, we have those available also. All right. Well, this is an amazing looking product. I mean, I really want to try one of these out. I think you guys have some vehicles in the booth that have it. So make sure you check out autometer.com for more information.